a couple of things I believe in. Number one, social has changed the game completely. Number two, that trust is king, that we came out and something we talked about earlier. And number three, the technology fundamentally enables connections. It isn't the technology for the technology itself, although a new fancy iPhone 5 is pretty cool, but it's really what it does. So I want to relate that to advertising. So one of my favorite topics is integration, integrated marketing communications. And I'm reminded when I was putting this together that uh, uh, actually a quote from Peter F. Drucker, the only way to predict the future is to create it. So if you think of the environment that we're in, um, we, we tend to position ourselves as, or think of ourselves as generation X or Y or boomers, or I love generation Z, the new one now, from Forrester. And if you really think about it, there's a phrase that was captured by Fast Company a few months ago. They called it generation flux. So I think we, we may not all be millennials, but we all can identify with flux in what's happening in the industry. So trying to be in an always-on environment is really, really quite challenging. So let's talk a little bit about advertising in this hyper world. What is the role of advertising in 2020? And I would argue that, number one, it becomes, it's a catalyst more than anything else. So if you look at this, schematic. If you look across this great um, phrase of, you know, P-O-E-M, POEM, right? Looking at paid, owned, earned, and what that means. So the catalyst, the need for advertising is every bit as much as it is today to excite, to drive interest, to drive attention. It's kind of that Saturn rocket, getting it off the ground, lifting it off, and getting it out into the world. So then as you move along the sequence, the, the power of owned, right? So if you think of brands like IBM, right? They're thinking they've got a great campaign called Smarter Planet, that great advertising, lifts it off, right? They then move and focus very carefully to drive people to their website, to their blog, to listen to expert bloggers talk about their brand. There's a, a magical formula with this content today that's not about pitching my stuff. It's a called, I call it the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of the message is giving value to you as the reader. And as the more you get the value, you'll come back to me to buy my product. So the 10 or 20% might be what, I am gonna, what I'm pitching or what I'm selling. So the balance of that is key. So basically looking at these tools and moving it along to maybe the true holy grail marketing, which is where people love your stuff. They're sharing your information. They're recommending you. They're creating viral videos. And all of a sudden, the, they're moving you along to that status of a brand where your brand is trusted. So the trusted brand is critical. The, uh, there's a great um, phrase that, uh, about brands that a guy named Simon, Simon Mannering, uh, who wrote a book called We First, and he talks about, he asks a provocative question, does your brand have a purpose? And if you can't really answer that, ultimately you may not be around in five or 10 years. If you can add that value, if you can do something for the planet, something for people or both, all of a sudden you're adding great value to your brand. So the other, so this also brings me then to a chart, again, back to my love of integrated marketing communications, is sort of a career of looking at, you know, how do you do this? How do you integrate it? Our view and the view that I think it'll extend to more into 2020 is something I call brand choreography. So it's mapping your perfectly developed marketing strategy, moving it across, understanding all the buying stages. So if, uh, if David Edelman, uh, one of our friends from McKinsey were here, he could talk eloquently about um, the, the, his decision journey. So it's building the story. Content marketing is critical. And um, basically, a lot of this, I think, will be fueled by better data. And lastly, you know, what are we doing getting, to get ready for the future? Some of the things that that we do as a brand. Basically, we develop workshops for the American Marketing Association on integrated marketing communications, on content marketing strategy. Tremendous interest in these topics, getting people to understand what they are and what they mean. Do similar things for Rutgers University, executive education, um, Rutgers Business School, um, consumer behavior areas. And basically, and right now, sort of the change in the world, there are videos of me presenting social media strategy that are in modules around the world at, at any given time, people are actually taking and listening to that. Um, so huge change coming ahead, but I think it's all about understanding your brand, understanding the opportunity, 
and uh, doing that well. Thank you. Okay.